Hey, what's up guys? ELP Modeling here and welcome back to another Unboxing Weekend. Today we're looking at the Fujimi Mark II Grande by Toyota. And of course, we will start with your decals. Blank Japanese number plates, which are fantastic. We've got the dials as well, rear view mirror decal, a couple of other little dashboard ones and some Grande ones as well. On to the kit then. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, well, this isn't the normal kit you buy, but I fancy doing something a little bit different. Instructions, there is a link in the description, guys. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll start off with your body. There are a lot of different sprues to show you on this. Now, everything is molded in. However, the bonnet and the boot are separate. This, I think, is going to be one of Fujimi's best kits, to be honest with you. Nice mould lines, nicely proportioned as well. I'm loving the little uh, extended arches that I'm sure it's like standard on the car, but I just I think that's a nice little touch. All the bumpers are separate. They come in chrome with the little black pieces that you need to add as well. I'll show you those in a little bit. But I'm loving this, it's fantastic. The bonnet is attached to the front grille area where the lights are, so if you wanted to stick an engine in this, you are going to need to do some cutting anyway. But that's great. The other cool thing are these wheels. Look. Now I'm pretty sure, I, I get a bit confused keep looking at it, but I'm pretty sure you can get two sets of wheels out of these. I'll get rid of these three because they are all identical and I'll show you this one. Now they are these gorgeous four spoke wheels. And the reason I think you can do two sets of wheels is because these next pieces are slightly different staggered fitment. You can see the dish is slightly different on the step lip version of it. And then you have the backing. So I'm pretty sure you can make you know two sets of wheels out of this. And if that's the case, I'm over the moon because I've been after these four spokes for so long. But yeah, I'll show you the tires now. And here we are, we actually get six tires. These are the tires that are included. A little bit of tread on them and they are slightly stretched as well. This does look fantastic once it's built. Nicely lowered as well. Very cool. The other two wheels that are included are stretched as well. I think this is the first Fujimi set I've seen that has the stretched tires. There's a little set of poly caps in there and you can see the stretch as well. They're not cambered, but they are stretched. Now onto some clear parts. Windscreen with some molded in sun visors again, which is great. You don't see that very often in the Japanese kits. That's more in sort of the Revell ones. Headlights, loads of different light options as well. Even the side repeaters are separate as well. Now onto some juicy chrome. Front and rear bumpers, voila. You can see little holes in there, that's where you attach the other pieces that go black. Front and rear sort of headlight backings, rear light backings. This piece is for the rear, I believe, where the number plate goes, and then you've got your front grille as well. I'm loving the fact that that is separate. Now, talking of grills, I'll show you this sprue here, which has the rest of the grille on. And not only that, but we have the boot area as well. Look at that. Why don't you do this with every kit, Fujimi? Why Why you no make effort? But we have the grill here. I believe they're the bits that go in the uh, chrome bits of the bumper. I think these may be spoilers. I could be wrong. But here are the pieces that go in the front and rear bumpers. Look. They need snipping off, then painting black, and then inserting. These go on the back of the parcel shelf. Some more interior goodness now with some quite sexy seats, if I'm honest. And the telltale sign of whether it's going to be a good kit or not, let's feel the back. <gasps> They're not empty! Look! Well, I'm astounded by that. Right, rear mirror, number plates, front wipers. We'll flip this over again for the dashboard. Which, look at the moulding on that, it's fantastic. Great detail on that. Really good. We have a beautiful steering wheel with actual holes in it, handbrake, rear view mirror, and then your steering arm, and then your interior tub. I may be asking too much for it to be with separate door cards, but even so, that's pretty good. Center console's molded in. Not a huge amount of details on the door cards themselves, but the sort of cushiony bits at the bottom are. So I'm liking that. There is no easy way to show. Oh, there you go. They're not too bad at all, really, for a Fujimi kit. Oh, I lied, we have more chrome. This chrome, of course, is your exhaust. Here are your headlight backings. 
and then a few other little bits and bobs. Look at those mirrors. How cool are they? Ooh. Yeah, loads of other little chrome bits and bobs there. Nice chrome on that, on those headlight bits. Look, look at that. Two more sprues now that are identical. Rear subframe area and differential. It, it doesn't say in the instructions that one is used and one isn't. I'm not sure if it's just an error that you get two in there, but unless one gives you more camber or more lows, who knows? But yeah, the detail on that is nice as well. Really good. Second to last sprue then. This has some chassis pieces on. Some brakes. Again, I'm not entirely sure what every single one is, but the brakes are nice. So they're in two pieces. Ah, that's what they are. Aha! We have separate calipers, look. How often does that happen? I'm loving this. Rear suspension pieces. Flip this over and I'll show you the exhaust. That's fantastic. That is a little bit of a sink mark on that cap, but nothing, nothing too serious. Some more suspension bits and then your steering arm. And this literally is the last thing to show you. The polycaps are included in one of the tyre bags and that is your chassis. Now the exhaust is all separate, which is great, but there's a little bit of shallow moulding here and there, but it's not the end of the world. I'm quite smitten with this kit, so I'm going to let the chassis off on this. It won't lose a point for this. I've seen worse, but I've seen better. But this is perfect. Great stuff. Loving it. No moulded in exhaust or anything like that. It really is great. Let me know what you think then guys in the comments section or you can come hit me up on Facebook, Instagram or the web. Nice to show you a different sort of car actually as opposed to sort of like a modern Japanese sports car that I seem to love and adore but I'm quite smitten with the car and the kit as well. And because of that I'm going to give it 11 out of 10. I don't know why, I just love it. I think it's fantastic. The wheels are amazing, that's probably what's doing it for me. But the whole thing, you know, it can be built perfectly with all those separate parts. It, it just makes building a lot easier and it can, you know, add a lot of realism. But enough waffling. I've took enough of your time this weekend. Hope you have a great week ahead of you. And I'll see you in the up and coming videos, guys. Keep modelling. Take it easy. Bye-bye.